Hello YouTube. So today I'm gonna be doing a quick unboxing. I'm not doing the review yet. I will be doing the review, but I'm doing a quick unboxing and showcase of the new MTW Max Hobbop, which is right here. Um, this is just a demo model. It's not released yet. On it, ready to be released yet. We are still working on it. We, I say, they are still working on it. So this is. So I've obviously been showcasing a lot of showcasing a lot of images of it recently because I want to show you now. Let's see it. So this is not how it's gonna come. Obviously, I think so. Nah, it's not. Definitely not. You get a nice box. So let's see here. So, this is how it looks. Like, uh, this is not the final version. Everyone remember that? Not the final version. But it's gonna be called uh, M4W. And yeah, let's see how this is gonna, gonna be. Nice packaging, like always. There's a lot of extra cool stuff here. So this is, Max says that it, this is the first true TDC hobbop for a M4. Let's see here. So this is what you get. Let's see the hobbop. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, this wheel feels very nice. I like this. I like there's the small, you see here? This is something I love about the Max hobbop. The wheel feels really good, the scroll wheel or whatever you want to call. See here. It's in zero now. Okay. So this is how it looks this way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then we get a spring, a guide spring, which is going to be in front of the barrel. If you don't have the normal one. That you have from the normal MTW, I would probably be using this spring here since I'm not sure if it's the same size, but yeah. Then we have, let's see here, what is this? The different hobber bombs, and what is this? A C clip, a different C clip, which you obviously, which I guess you need. This looks very different from the other C clip I have. Hmm. See, so then you get a, a O ring. And you get a like ring to lock it in. Like this is obviously in front to lock it in the hub up. Like how it lock the thing in the unit. Oh, that's why you see here now it's different. Like, oh, they've actually done something. Can you see here? So I'm gonna use this right here. There's two uh, like a dense in a cut in. So I guess this is not gonna be able to move around as easily. So what Wolverine offers is this Phoenix. That's the premium, um, the premium hub up unit. It uh, it doesn't come stuck with the gun. Um, this is the CNC version of the MTW hub, which has a where you can change the tension on the lips. Right here, you get a little tool. I'm going to be comparing it to the Phoenix. I can change the tension. I'm not going to change it now because it's set perfectly for the green GNG. Um, and then I'm going to compare it to the standard hub up unit, which you already know what it looks like also. I assume if you have MCW, you know what they look like. So, okay. So, Max decided, by the way, to do different hub up arms. Like a different way of making it. Like a different way in the hop-up unit itself. So the hop-up arm is not like a long, like, it's not like the normal one you know from the MCW hop. It's quite different. So they have a flat hop, they have a 2R hop, it's easy to R hop. I don't know which one is in this already. Maybe I can check. I mean, I should check, obviously. So this is the standard hop-up unit, by the way. So mine has the silent industries. Um, 1.0 hopper bomb. It has a C clip, like a different one that, that sits bent on it, and then the standard hub up and then green DNG. 
which you have seen in all my videos, which works pretty decent. I'm just gonna set it up with a different um, a different barrel. Right now, right now it doesn't matter for the test. I'm gonna be using the same barrel for everything because obviously that's the smartest move to do. So people, it's not gonna say there's uh, any variances. Let's see here. There we go. It's on the barrel. And the knob is in. Let's try to install it. Let's see here. Just a tiny bit loop here. Let's make sure it's correctly again. There we go. It's this way up. You want the two wings on the side or the holes dead ends to be aligned with the last side. Then the, this will fit in, it will click in. Jesus, that's a lot of hop, holy. Whichever knob it comes with provides a lot of hop, holy, holy shit. <laughs> Let's see, I, I've been told it doesn't fit in the MTW, lid, but this looks nice. And the wheel is very nice. That's, that's something I really like about it. Let's compare the stock springs, I guess. Let's compare the two springs. The max spring is bigger. That is confirmed. You can see here. The max spring this, and this is the other one. Let's see here. Maybe one has just been used a lot and one is compact, so yeah, I guess. Well, we'll put this right here. And then we we'll use the max spring. Let's see if it fits. If not, we're gonna need to modify it. Which you guys, obviously you're not gonna have to do. To modify the spring that is. Let's see, my version of the MTW doesn't seem to have room for the wings. The wings that Max has. Does the stamp, no. Mine actually don't have room for the wings. Let me take a picture here to the, to the boss. And say hey, no no wings on the my MTW actually. Hey, I'm filming the video right now. As you see here, there's actually no room for the wings in my version of the MTW. There's no um, place where the wings can actually be. Like there's no indents. Like in in mine. Okay, I just talked with the with with the guy who is developing the max hop-up unit. When you have the billet slash what the first generation I have or whatever you want to call it, you don't use the wings. The wings are for the forged version without a feeding tube. So I'm going to re release, take them off here. Yeah? And then we're going to fit in the gun and see if it fits properly. This is the smallest screws I've ever seen in my entire life. Now we'll put in the max hop up unit. Let's see, how does it feel? Can you spin the hop up? I can spin the hop up. Hmm. That is nice. Okay. So it fits in the gun at least. As you see here, fits in the gun. Okay, okay, let's see, so this is in, this works great, like it feels good in it, in the gun, at least, but I mean, I'm not testing it today, I'm just testing to see how it fits inside. Okay, so guys and girls and whatever you are, um, this is the hop-up unit, this is how it comes, this is how it looks. After I modified it, I always take off these when you have the standard, the billet version, if you have the... The forged version you need to use the arms so i have the different knobs here i'm planning to use the knob that's already in since i've been told or advised that what that's what works the best see here let's remove it there we go like this is a lot of knob i've never seen this much knob like in a hop up unit before like this is actually kind of insane okay mcw people so i come to a conclusion i'm going to test it with this, like my best configuration versus this with the best configuration they advised. And I'm going to do these two different tests, the max versus the 
will rain hop up. Um, I'm gonna test the Phoenix too. Um, but to, as I said today, this was just a showcase of what you get in the box, how it looks, how it feels. Like overall, the feel of the hop up unit, it feels very nice. It feels very smooth. Like like when you like for example the wheel here, like this wheel, it's super nice. It's super easy to scroll. Like scroll, what do you want to say? Turn. When you do this, you hear? It's not as nice because obviously it's plastic. So like. Yeah, it's plastic. <laughs> um, I like that you can see BB in the in the thing. That's super cool. I mean, it's just a. It doesn't do much when it doesn't hold in BBs. This one, you know, as the as the Max does with the retention on. This doesn't have it. So, yeah, let's let's see how the how this performs compared to the other ones. You will see that in part two where I'm gonna compare the two hop-up units. The three hop-up units actually also versus the Phoenix. Um, I'm gonna compare all three, see what does best and how the performances are, and um, yeah, it's all gonna be green D and D at 1.69 joules. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching. It's just a short video. I see it's 40 minutes now. I'm gonna cut down like crazy <laughs> and uh, show you guys what's up. So yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Tune in for part two and. Uh, my Discord has a ton of tech stuff, by the way, regarding the MTW. So if you're interested or have questions, you should join my Discord. It's in the, it's in the description. And subscribe to the fucking channel, man. What the fuck are you doing? Thank you.